largest military transport in the U.S.'s arsenal is also one of the largest planes in the world, and its five decades of operation is worth celebrating. With the ability to swallow 50-ton main battle tanks and deposit them on another continent, the galaxy is an essential part of the global logistics system. The C-5 symbolize the size, power, might and majesty of the United States Air Force, says Air Force historian John Leland, and it still does to this day. For a half century, the galaxy has kept America's armed forces, allies, and far-flung scientists well supplied in the most remote corners of the Earth, and it will continue to do the job for the foreseeable future. It's hard to wrap your head around the sheer size of the C-5. The most recent version, the C-5M, is 247 feet long. That's 12 feet longer than an Airbus A380 Super Jumbo civilian jetliner. It has a wingspan of 222.8 feet, with each wing as long as a basketball court. The aircraft stands 65 feet tall, the equivalent of a six-and-a-half-story building. The galaxy is so galactic it won't fit inside many hangars. In some cases, the C-5 mostly fits inside, and the Air Force simply cuts a hole in the sliding doors for its whale-shaped tail to stick out. Other times, it just sits outside. The C-5 was built to carry more cargo than any other plane. The C-5M can lift more than a quarter million pounds, and the approximately 34,000 cubic foot cargo bay is large enough to contain one tank, six helicopters, or 24,844,746 ping-pong balls. The gargantuan airplane can fly 5,524 miles with 120,000 pounds of cargo without refueling. With mid-air refueling, the C-5 has practically unlimited range. The C-5 Galaxy started with a requirement. The Air Force wanted a transport capable of carrying all the equipment necessary for a U.S. Army division halfway across the world. While transports of the time, including the C-130 Hercules and now extinct C-141 Starlifter, were big, they simply couldn't handle the most important item, the new M-60 main battle tank. The M-60 was 30 feet long, 10 feet high, and weighed 50 tons. The Air Force issued a requirement for a new Super Heavy Transport Plane, CXLHS, and set a performance goal of carrying 100,000 pounds a distance of 4,500 nautical miles at 440 knots. The plane that could do it would be not only the largest airplane in U.S. military service, but the largest airplane in the world. It was a heady time in American history, when the country could easily fund a race to the moon, the Vietnam War, and build the largest airplane ever. Boeing, Douglas, and Lockheed competed for the contract. After a six-month deliberation, Lockheed won the contract to build 58 of the cargo planes, while General Electric won the engine contract. In today's dollars the C-5A would cost $268 million per plane. Boeing's proposal didn't go to waste. It would eventually become the 747 civilian airliner. The C-5A was an ambitious airplane, Lockheed's specs called for an aircraft capable of carrying an outside load of 250,000 pounds, or 125 tons, for a distance of 3,200 miles unrefueled. With a 100,000-pound payload, the C-5A could fly 5,300 miles. That was enough to fly from Dover Air Force Base in Delaware to Torrijon Air Base in Spain, or from Travis Air Force Base in California to Yokota Air Base in Japan. The C-5 was projected to fly more and bigger cargo, and do it faster and with fewer planes. In 1965, General Howard Estes, commander of the Air Force's Military Air Transport Service, said the C-5 would have radically sped up Operation Big Lift, an exercise that flew 15,500 soldiers from the U.S. to Germany. We used 234 aircraft, C-118S and C-124s, each flying one mission, and completed the lift in 63 hours, Estes said. By comparison 42 C-5s could do the same job in only 13 hours. The C-5A would be capable of landing on unprepared airfields no longer than 4,000 feet. 
Following Lockheed's tradition of naming aircraft after astronomical objects and bodies, the company named the Flying Behemoth Galaxy 